in this video, I'm going to be going over step by step everything you need to know about recording and capturing your mobile gaming videos, including all the necessary equipment and software needed. Now, this isn't the only way that you can record your videos. You can obviously do it in many other ways, but this is the way I found is the most reliable, best quality, and it's going to future proof yourself if you want to record and live stream and do all that sort of stuff. And this is what I've been doing on my channel with all my gaming videos, if you've seen them. So if you like the style, how I make them, this is the exact method that I use. You're going to need a capture card. I like to use the Elgato HD 60S Plus. I like this one because it can capture in 4K. That means you'll be able to capture in high resolutions on your phone. With my setup, I use the iPhone Pro 11 and I use the Apple iPhone adapter to connect to the HD 60 Plus, which connects to my phone. And it's got two ports here, one for the HDMI and one for your Apple charger. So you can charge your phone while you're playing. And also you're gonna need a PC. Any PC will do to record. And you're gonna need a recording software like you can see here. I'm using OBS Studio and I'm gonna show you that as well and all the settings that you're gonna need to set up. If you wanna learn more about the products that I actually use, I'll leave links in the description so you can check them out. Also, I forgot to mention you're gonna need just one HDMI cable. What you wanna do is you wanna plug your HDMI cable into the import of the capture device. Then on the other end of the HDMI, you just use the HDMI adapter. I've just got the Apple one here. So if you've got an Android, you'd have to get the Android adapter. And this is what connects to your phone. So this is how you'd be playing and recording. So there's not too much in your way when you're trying to record, which is good. So now you need to connect your capture device to your PC. And this one uses a USB 3 type. So you gotta make sure that your PC has that. And it's also a good idea to have your charger handy. So if your phone starts to run low on battery, you can plug it in like this and it will charge and you can record and live stream without your phone dying. So now we're gonna cover the recording software within OBS Studio and I'm gonna teach you how you can customize your resolution. So when you watch it on YouTube, that sort of like on my channel, how the video covers the whole screen when the viewer watches, I'm gonna teach you how to customize the settings within OBS so you can get the right settings. Now what you're looking at is OBS Studio, which is the game capture recording software. It's absolutely free, you can download it. When you first get it, you'll have to do a few things to set it up. So one thing to know is it's gonna be something called scenes and sources. You can make multiple scenes and have multiple sources. Basically, you only need one scene to capture this. So we're gonna create a new profile and a scene collection together, and I'm gonna walk you through it. So what we need to do is create a new profile first. So I'm gonna go new. Make sure you name your profile and your scene collection the same thing. This show auto configuration wizard. We can untick this because we're gonna manually set the settings in this video. Hit okay and create that. Now you can see at the top here that we've created a profile and it actually tells us here that we're using the mobile recording YouTube and our scene is mobile recording. So we need to create a scene. So I'm gonna go new, create scene, name it the exact same thing as our profile. Now you can see that what we're recording on is our profile, mobile recording YouTube, and our scenes are a mobile recording YouTube. And you can see here that we have nothing. It's a blank canvas for us. So we're gonna set up the settings for our profile, which is all gonna be under the settings tab here. You wanna go into audio and you wanna make sure all of these are disabled. And if you're wondering why we want to disable these is because within our scenes, we want to add the audio sources there. It's just a better way of doing it. Just trust me on this. Then we want to head to video and we want to set our resolution and our frame rate. Our frame rate, we obviously want to shoot at 60 FPS. The Elgato capture card allows us to get 60 frames. So here's the fun part that we get to change our video resolution. So you want to change this number to 2560 by 1280. And you want to make sure the output scaled resolution is the same as the base canvas. That's going to create an aspect ratio of two to one. And that's going to allow us to get that wide landscape recording for YouTube that looks cool, that fills up your mobile phone. Make sure you hit apply. Then we want to go to the output tab and it's going to be set to simple. We want to change this to advanced. Recording settings, you're going to see recording path. You want to make sure you set this up to a path that you have a lot of storage to record your videos. I like to record in MKV because that gives me multiple audio tracks where I can record. Basically, that's going to allow you to split your audio tracks so you could have your gameplay and any other audio tracks tracks all on separate layers. If it's an MP4, it's gonna be one file put together. Depending on how you wanna do it, you can use MP4. If you're maybe doing a voiceover, you just need the gameplay. Probably best to set it to MP4, but if you wanna do all within OBS Studio and have separate audio tracks for your audio, best to go with MKV. The encoder, you can use this X264. If you've got an NVIDIA graphics card, you always wanna choose this one. Encoder settings, you wanna make sure that you select CBR, which is concert bitrate, and you wanna set this value with this recording resolution settings, I'll do a minimum of 20,000. A lot of these settings you'll be able to leave as default. It should say keyframe interval, which is just gonna use auto. This is all like default settings that I've left here and profile is high. 
GPU is zero, which is just the default, and max B frames, make sure that's set to two if it's not already set. Make sure you hit apply and then move to the audio tab. And we wanna change all of these numbers to 320. That's just gonna make our audio quality the best it's gonna be for our recording. Hit apply. Now we're done and we've set up our profile. Now we're gonna set up our scene collection so we can actually get our gameplay audio and everything into OBS. There should be a scene here by default, but if there isn't, you can click this plus icon and create a scene. And we wanna add our sources like our phone and our capture device. So click this plus icon and we're gonna add our capture device. So you wanna to go to video capture device and we're gonna add our capture card, which is the Elgato HD60S Plus. So you can see it's actually picking up my webcam. So what we need to do is you need to go to device here and you need to select the device that you wanna choose from. There's all different devices here. These are all video devices that you can connect to. You'll have different ones depending on the hardware that you have. As you can see from the settings here, you'll see Game Capture HD60S Plus. So make sure that's selected. You can also deactivate and activate the device. So if it's black screen and it's not showing up, if you hit activate and deactivate, it should make it come up, which is like a soft reset for the device. I like to leave everything here on the default, but if it's not working as well, you can come in here and select the custom resolution that you want. Pretty much leave all these default as they are. If you're not getting any game audio, I'd suggest coming into this audio output mode here and changing it to direct sound or wave out. Those two should solve any audio issues if your gameplay is not coming into OBS Studio. So this audio mixer here, that will be your gameplay that will come through on your phone. Like I said earlier, if there's no gameplay audio coming through your phone into OBS Studio, there's no green here. Check those settings I showed you before and change them around. And then you should have your audio for your gameplay. To hear your audio while you record and play your games, click these three dots and then open up the advanced audio properties. Find the capture device and select monitor and output and you should be able to hear your game while you're playing and recording. Now, depending on your setup, I'm gonna add a microphone here. So all you need to do is you need to add a audio device. So we're gonna use a audio input capture device, call this mic. And you'll see from here a list of your microphones that you wanna select. So you can use any microphone. If you've got a USB microphone or if you have an audio mixer, you wanna make sure you select that audio mixer if it's connected to your microphone. So I'll switch back to what I'm actually recording on here. So you can see my microphone as I'm talking. This is the microphone that I'm using. You can click on these dots here and go to properties. And you can see here I'm using an audio interface. That's what I've got selected from this menu. And for some reason, if your audio is a mono and it's in one side and not stereo and you want it to make it centered, you can go here and go to advanced properties and you can click this little button here. It says mono. So I'm using a audio interface with an XLR microphone. So it's gonna record to the left side of the speaker. So I have to click this to make it mono so it's centered. So basically what I'm showing you here is a crop down version of what I'm recording through here on my phone. Make sure you crop it to the size of the canvas, which I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. As you can see, you've got Warzone Mobile here as it's updating and it's not filling up the canvas. So all we need to do is make sure that our capture device in our sources is selected, or you can click on it here and see by the red box that it's selected. Right click and go to transform and then go to fit to screen. What we can do is drag it out so it can fill out our canvas to we like it. And to make sure it's centered, what we can do is go to transform again and go to center the screen. So that's just gonna center the footage. So that's how you can record your mobile gaming videos. So I hope you found this helpful and inspired you to get started making content. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below. I'd be happy to help you out. Thank you for watching and I hope you make some cool content in 2023.